Now that you're close to becoming an expert on the cryptocurrency structuring choices to achieve your financial goals, which hopefully include minimizing taxes, you probably already know how to connect the dots and create a crypto sweet spot. This spot is for those who intend to generate profits from crypto buying, holding, and selling, and mining. In case you haven't connected the dots, this video will help you do that. This is Kelly Coughlin, CPA and the CEO of Everyday CPA. Hopefully you have watched the previous three videos that cover the rule of three in part one, three types of crypto income in part two, three types of accounts, part three, three types of legal entities, and now in part four, the crypto spot for all these. The sweet spot for long-term crypto investing is in my mind, a Roth IRA, if you can get it adequately funded. Note, you can't just dump a bunch of money into a Roth IRA. There are limits to this and rules around that, which I do not want to cover here I will do that in the fifth and final session. If the assumption or belief is that crypto is going to experience huge increases, then you will want to be in a position to access those huge increases in a tax efficient way. There is a debate about whether to do crypto in a pre-tax account like a 401k or a traditional IRA. Well, in my mind, there is not a debate. If you make these two assumptions, you have the ability to fund the Roth IRA, and two, you believe crypto is going to potentially deliver you a 3x plus return. If you can't get enough funds in the Roth, or you don't have the confidence in the return potential of your crypto business, then the Roth IRA is not necessarily a sweet spot. To state it simply, in the buy, hold, sell, you exercise a terribly complicated formula that I will share with you in a secret right now. You ready for the secret? Buy low, sell high. I'll repeat it in case you didn't get it. Buy low, sell high. You are free to do as much of that as you wish, as you wish in your Roth IRA. There's no mathematical blockchain equation and mining for that. But you need to have enough funds set up with a custodian that permits those transactions. And for right now, the gains that you're taking are not taxable in that Roth IRA. And when you take the funds out, provided you have kept them in for a certain number of years, you're not taxable. Put in 10,000 in your Roth, turn it into 10 million in five years and pull it out totally tax-free. At least that's the way the current tax law is written. More on that later. Now, let's talk about crypto mining. The benefit of crypto mining is you are not always paying full market price for your crypto holdings. You buy those through your math calculation services. So in my mind, this is kind of a hedge position or kind of like a dollar cost averaging strategy used in stock and mutual fund purchases. The problem is you can't run a math calculation business in your Roth IRA, nor can you earn income from a math calculation business in your Roth IRA without triggering unrelated business income tax, it's called. Recall Roth IRAs are tax exempt entities in which only certain types of income is tax exempt. Earned income from a math calculation business is not tax exempt, but the dividends earned from a math calculation business is tax exempt. And that's what we're going to do. You're going to form a math calculation business. We'll call it Math Mining Inc. It's a C Corp formed in, for example, the state of Wyoming. Math mining generates revenues and profits primarily from crypto mining. It has operating expenses that reduce the profits. It then pays a daily dividend in the form of cryptocurrency to its shareholders. Recall, shareholder dividends are permitted for a tax-exempt organization. Math Mining has to file a tax return, a Form 1120 it's called, and pay federal income taxes on only the net income. Dividends don't reduce net income. They are paid after 
net taxable income is calculated. I want to draw your attention to two things here. Number one, the cryptocurrency dividend is declared and paid daily. This is so any appreciation or depreciation of that dividend accrues within the tax-exempt organization, your Roth IRA. So there's no increase in taxable income in Math Mining Inc., and therefore no increase in taxes there. The second point is that state taxes are set up in Wyoming, so Math Mining doesn't have to pay state income taxes. How do we get the dividends from crypto mining into the Roth account? We set up an LLC. We will call it Kelly's Crypto LLC that is owned by Kelly's tax-exempt Roth IRA. Since the LLC is a pass-through entity, 100% of the profits pass through directly to the Roth IRA. And since that Roth is owns, owns 100% of the LLC, that LLC owns the shares of Math Mining Inc. It might be 100% of the shares, or if there are a couple other different Roth-related LLCs formed by different tax-exempt Roth accounts, each will have their pro rata share of the dividends based on their percentage ownership of Math Mining Inc., similar to being entitled to dividends from Apple or IBM or any other company. I'll summarize it one more time. Here are the facts. Kelly is a natural person subject to income tax. He sets up a tax exempt organization commonly referred to as a self-directed Roth account with a custodian who allows alternative investments, including LLCs. Number one, Kelly makes an after-tax contribution to Kelly's Roth of $10,000. Kelly, number two, Kelly forms a single member LLC called Kelly's Crypto LLC for the sole purpose of investing in cryptocurrency. Number three, Kelly self-directs his Roth IRA to make a $10,000 investment in Kelly's Crypto LLC. Number four, Kelly's Crypto LLC opens up a crypto trading account and a wallet for the LLC with Gemini or Kraken, by example. Number five, Kelly's crypto LLC buys Bitcoin and holds it in his LLC wallet. Kelly also wants to mine Bitcoin. Number six, Kelly sets up a company in Wyoming called Math Mining Inc. Number seven, Kelly's crypto LLC acquires share, shares in Math Mining Inc., a service to mine Bitcoin for Math Mining Inc. Number eight, Math Mining Inc. operates a crypto mining business subject to federal income tax. Number nine, Math Mining Inc. incurs expenses to operate a mining enterprise, including outsource mining activities to an unrelated party. Number 10, Math Mining Inc. pays a daily dividend to Crypto LLC, which flows through to Kelly's Roth IRA. Number 11, Kelly's Roth accumulates Bitcoin and other virtual currency from purchases and mining activity, 100% of the distributions are withdrawn tax-free. I want to spend just one minute or two on the tax created when your Roth creates earned income. Earned income creates unrelated business taxable income. UBTI is income earned by a tax exempt entity, such as an IRA that is not related to the tax exempt purpose of the tax exempt entity. The exempt purpose of an IRA is to provide for the retirement of the IRA holder. This UBTI creates unrelated business income tax, UBIT. So UBTI creates UBIT. Isn't that creative how that works? So when an IRA is invested in a partnership or an LLC, these are considered pass-through entities and therefore the profits automatically pass through or flow through to the owner. And if that income that passes through is not passive income like rental income or dividends, it is not exempt from income tax. Crypto mining is considered earned income and is therefore unrelated business taxable income. We really want to avoid any potential of having your crypto mining considered taxable earned income in your Roth IRA. And that's it for part four in the fifth in final part, we'll cover the various ways you can fund your Roth IRAs. There are a couple fairly obscure and less known ways to do this that you should know about. This is Kelly Coughlin at Everyday CPA. Thanks for watching.